Okay guys, so last time I was out shooting my Heritage Arms Rough Rider and um, we are just shooting it. I handed it off to my friend because he wanted to try it so he was loading it up and he went to try to shoot it and he says, oh, it's not shooting. I told him the safety's on. <laughs> so he said, okay, he took it off. He said, it's still not shooting. But well, let me see it. Yeah, it is not supposed to work like that. <laughs> um, so I took it apart when we were there. And I found that it was the spring that had broken. Grab it real quick. I had already ordered one. It was like $5 from Heritage, so it wasn't too bad. But it was the this spring right here. You can see the part that sticks up more? Just the whole thing broke off. And I'll uh, take this gun apart and I'll show you. But it, it was rendered useless. You know what I mean? And I haven't really shot it that much even and this spring broke. So that's a little bit concerning to me for sure. That stuff like this just happens. I guess when a gun is this cheap it's a, just a wear part. But still it's just an issue that I had. And I'll show you how it broke in there. And I'll uh, just let this issue be known to anybody looking to buy one. So I got the gun taken apart. And you can see the spring right here with the screw in the middle. You can see the flat part to the right and to the left how it's just uh, broken off. It's going to be sitting in there like that. As soon as I replace it, we'll see if it works again, which it obviously will because when I took this gun apart, like I said, this uh, little spring piece up here was just all rattling around inside there. So, like I said, I don't think this is a deal breaker necessarily. It might be, have been a one-off thing. I'm still going to shoot the gun and see. If it keeps happening, I might pick up a Wrangler. If it's a big enough issue for you, I guess that's for you to decide. I'm just here to let you know what happened to me. So let's get this bad boy in and see what happens. There we go. Got that new spring nice and installed. Here we go. See, we already got that cylinder stop up. Hammer clicks are all working again. And the cylinder isn't spinning freely unless it's in half cock, just like it should. So that is all good. Would that be a major issue for you guys? Is it changing your mind on the gun? Would you not buy one if you knew that that was going to happen to it? If I did, I might have gone with the Wrangler instead. I think those use like uh, new Vaquero springs, they said, or something like that. So you could change them out if you wanted to. But since I already got this, I'm just going to keep rocking it unless something else happens. But it did disable it. It was a major failure. See that old spring? Totally missing the other part. Um, if this happens to you also, I should probably say, don't take apart your gun. Because <laughs> uh, I just do this kind of because I like to, but you probably could just send it to Heritage for free and get it back. But I heard that Taurus customer service sucks and Taurus owns Heritage, so that's up to you if you want to take a chance with that or not. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and y'all have a good one.